There we go. Nice. Ooh, little three piece. It's definitely slightly, if not a little bit overpowered. As you guys can tell, at least right there. And maybe right there. And maybe right there. Yo, if you guys could do me a favor, and if you've ever had Chipotle, just drop a like on today's video. All right, what is going on happening? How's everybody doing today? My name is Chuck, and welcome back to a brand new video. So naturally, we are back here again on some more Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And if you ask you guys, I've actually been enjoying this game quite a bit and playing it like a lot just because it's so fun and it's just it's such a different experience compared to Modern Warfare. But essentially here on the beta, I've been actually, you know, going through, I've been noticing some critical class stuff. I actually showed you guys an MP5 video yesterday. I unlocked some more attachments for it, which is definitely good. I unlocked, you know, the magazine, um, you know, a sound suppressor, which is definitely cool. But what I've actually always been using a lot is the X M4, which was definitely kind of one of my more favorite guns to use in the uh, regular alpha we got to play, and uh, this was definitely a, a really, really good gun. I don't know what it is, but I've been using my guns a lot, and the weapon progression is incredibly slow. Like, I think I've played with the XM4 quite a bit, and I'm only like level 33 in like in multiple days of playtime. This is nuts. Uh, but anyways, here's my class with this. I'm using the Microflex uh, LED. I, I have the suppressor on here. I have the 11.8 takedown barrel, and of course, I have the standard 50 round magazine, which is definitely a uh, pretty nice boost there. And of course, then I have the task Force rear grip, which does help with my ADS speed. Uh, definitely really, really good. And remember, if you're watching this video, don't be fake. Drop a like on this video. Subscribe with notifications turned on. And uh, yeah. Let's do this. So I want to take the time here in this video to kind of talk to you guys about like, you know, what I think about the beta so far, what are like some good, some bad, like some changes and stuff that I'd like to be able to see. Uh, and just kind of, you know, see what you guys are thinking about it. Oh, there we go. First kill. Nice. At least speaking of something that needs to change, just because I'm actually playing on the map, like these bushes that I'm actually running through here right now, like you literally can't see anybody through those things and it's like absolutely ridiculous. Like, you know, lawn care company, like the lawn care company needs to get called ASAP because those things are insane. Like they block off quite literally your line of sight. You can't see what's going on through them. I mean, like, bro, like I can't see nothing. Also not really sure about you guys, but I've been taking a look at like a lot how the game actually plays. Like the server is, you know, the server's good. Is the connection feel good, bad? And I will say that the hit connection and like, you know, your actually your hit reg, more or less is what everybody calls it. Feels kind of a little bit sketchy. There we go. Nice. Ooh, little three piece. Hey, bro, get out of here. Come on. There we go. Dude, what are these guys doing all in our spawn? Hey, teammates, let's get, let's get this UAV going. Let's actually try and put in a little bit of work here. Let's do something. Oh, I just beamed him. No. Oh. Oh. I don't know how he missed so many shots, and man, I was thankful for that clip. No, I was about to say, don't do me like that game. Oh. I'm kind of popping off over here. Got my field mic down. Man, that field mic, by the way, guys, if you are not using a field mic as your upgrade, you are literally doing it wrong. Seriously. Nice. Get out of here, bro. Come on. Another one down. Get out of my hangar, bro. Come on. Get off me. Anyway, something I do enjoy about this game here is that, you know, I will say I like the gunplay. I do feel like the guns have, you know, actual recoil. They have kick to them. Like, you know, the, the gunsmith and everything, like the stats and everything all in there. It's 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 really, really cool. And it does allow you to really understand what's going on with your weapon, how attachments do affect it, and uh, everything like that. It's kind of like, unlike Modern Warfare, at least in that regard. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Oh, come on. Something I should also talk about, which is the maps. Um, like I already talked about how, you know, they needed to, you know, call the lawn company at least on this map and get, you know, some of these the, them crazy shenanigans, like them bushes out the way there. Uh, but you know, if the maps are not good in a Call of Duty game, it will almost like solely make or break a game. Like, you know, you will either have a really fun or a really bad time, no matter like even how good the guns are or you know, any of that stuff. Like if the maps suck, I mean you just ain't having fun. Yeah, just got this guy mid map. Let's go. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna give the maps probably like at least like a five to six out of ten. I don't think the maps are like really honestly anything special. I mean, they're all right, but they could definitely be. But they could definitely be like significantly better. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, probably everybody having uh, you know the field mic on is gonna make getting behind them just a little bit difficult unless I have like a counter UAV up. There we go. 
Finally just got somebody there, man. Good lord. And I, I'm not gonna lie, even having the stim shot right here, I'm not I think that is a bit of a it's a crutch equipment. It, it's not like something that I'm gonna probably stray away from using the entire life cycle, unless they severely like nerf it or you know maybe they make health regen, you know, just really, really good. If you guys haven't been paying attention to my mini map at all, which I know most people probably don't pay attention to the mini map, at least, you know, in a video, um, that you guys can see like I have this little like field mic down, and this thing has been here. The entire time like this field mic has literally not gone away and that's just because like it will stay there the entire time literally until somebody like destroys it if nobody destroys it your field mic is staying and you can have up to like two of them before it actually you know ends up uh getting taken out which i uh, i do like and speaking of that guy actually just took out my field mic what is this guy doing over here in our spawn like that's actually kind of cracked. I'm gonna whip out ye ol' uh, war machine. Um, I, I've really been digging the war machine here in this game. Uh, I think it's definitely slightly, if not a little bit overpowered. As you guys can tell, at least right there. And maybe right there. And maybe right there, it's... No, there were so many people down there. <laughs> Oh my god, it landed right next to him. What was that? All right, maybe I take back about it, you know, being like super overpowered, but like, you know, it's still really fun to use and it's definitely way better to use than like the, you know, the stupid, uh, you know, attack chopper because the attack chopper just gets shot down. Like it, it, it just gets shot down so unbelievably quick, man. It's, it's a little bit ridiculous. There we go. We're kind of popping off over here. Not gonna lie. Actually, got a C4. Nice. Oh, I couldn't even see him in the corner, bro. Yo, where was this guy's nameplate? He doesn't... That's insane. That's also something I should probably talk about for the end of the video, is that, you know, the nameplates. The nameplates, you can see, they're not necessarily right over people's heads or off to the side or something like that in... It makes it really, really weird. Like, sometimes you don't know if an enemy is an enemy just because of the nameplate. We went 43 and 17, not too bad. Um, we basically came through and we were having kind of a rough game, at least with our teammates. It just, it was not very solid. Also, something at the very end of the game, which actually kind of sucks, is that you actually will notice that your lobby does break, much like it does in Modern Warfare. So, if you guys are wanting to, you know, stay in that same lobby because maybe you had fun, maybe something like that, or the connection was really good, you can't necessarily do that anymore, which genuinely sucks. That essentially means it's going to be like Modern Warfare, where a skill base is going to be an all-time high, and you're going to be sweating your butt off. And that's something I, wish I should say, is that skill base is way too high in this game. You need to lower down to, like, what it was in, like, Black Ops 2 or something. Seriously. Like, every Everybody loved that game. Why can't they just keep it like that? Anyways, that's all I got for you guys here within today's video. I just want to give you guys my thoughts, opinions, so some gameplay. And uh, with that being said, thank you so much for coming through. Appreciate each and every single one. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe, those notifications, turn on. Make sure you guys comment down below. And uh, I'll see you guys back here in tomorrow's end of a brand new video. Just remember, don't triple cap, don't be Randy, and I'm out. Peace.